Near the city limits of Daytona Beach, the Tuscawilla Preserve is a perfect home to many exotic plants and animal species. With 600 acres of preserved wildlife, it is one of the most diverse ecosystems that had endured thousands of years ever since any human has settled in Volusia County. Next to the Museum of Art and Science, Tuscawilla Preserve is called a Hadric Hammock, an isolated place where hardwoods can be found within the wetland environment. The lower landscape increases the number of small bodies of water, which are favorite spots for birds like herons, egrets, and ibises. It also provides a place for reptiles and amphibians to breed. Mammals including the entire suit of North Florida creatures like bobcats, otters, and less seen species can be found more abundant. In 1948, the Tuscawilla Preserve was bought and was designated a public park and a forest preserve by the city of Daytona for $38,000. After the persuasion of two women, Nancy Seuss West and Alice Clancy, who garnered the support of the Council of Garden Clubs of Halifax District to actively working to beautify Daytona and preserve its remaining natural area. The Museum of Art and Science made itself a permanent home in Tuscawilla Park in 1971, allowing the Council of Garden Clubs to have more direct control of the preserve, and creating the first cut of the Education Nature Trails. In 1993, the Garden Club of Halifax County and Chapman Shaw Route joined the museum to construct the Window in the Forest, a more technology-based education system aiming to show students the animal species that live in the Tuscawilla Preserve. After many years of planning, the window in the forest was enhanced with the completion of the surrounding nature trails. Signs and infographics of the species of animal and plants that are preserved in Tusca Willow Park were added to help incoming students learn. The long preservation periods also come with its downside, hurricanes. Single-handedly can be called one of the most dangerous threats to nature preservation. A hurricane can flip an entire ecosystem on its head. Hurricanes throughout the year 2004 through 2006, like Hurricane Matthew with high winds, still impact the county and its ecosystem in a negative way. The wind and flooding associated with hurricanes and other extreme weather events are chipping away at Tuscawilla Preserve. Hurricanes have damaged the park's nature trails along with them plants and animals. Parts of the nature paths are blocked off because of the fallen trees and swamp that were created because of the recent storms and hurricanes. Although the nature trails that were constructed during the 1990s are still down without any sign of repairing, the vegetation around the trails that were taken down has overgrown the fallen trees. The animals are returning to us wildlife spotting and bird watching are more accessible. The Tuscawilla Preserve is one of the oldest and most diverse ecosystems that has been held up for many years by its unique landscape. Over the years, passionate people have converted the wild into a place for the public to gaze at its beauty, a place for students to study or expand their hobbies. Visiting the park and preserve is a great way to experience the natural beauty of Florida's scape. Being in the Tuscawilla Preserve and walking along its 1.5 miles of wooden trails that led visitors past creeks allowed them to take in the calm and relaxing sight of exotic plants and animals.